What's up, Bug Doug with Dean in the garage? I got a good one for you today. It's gonna to be a real quick one. I had reason to go into my Subaru fuse box recently, today, 10 minutes ago, and I stumbled on something that I had completely forgot existed that is super unique to Subaru, super helpful, and I think super cool. I first learned about this on my 1990 Subaru Forester S. I recently rediscovered it on this 2009 Outback, and we're gonna find out if it still exists on that 2017 Forester over there. What am I talking about? Just a little bit of foundation information, then we'll dig right into it. Subarus have symmetrical all-wheel drive. What does that mean? It means all four wheels are linked together all the time. That is why, other than a Jeep, you're really not gonna find anything better at climbing a wall. All right, Toyota guys, I'm sorry. Stick with me here. But what that also means is that you can't have four different size tires on your Subaru. And you're saying to me, Doug, friggin' duh, who puts four different size tires on their car? You do, probably all the time. Here's what happens. Your front tires usually wear quicker than your back ones. So what do you do? You get two new front tires and you just call that good enough. Your tires are now two different sizes. Why? Because an old tire, like this one, don't judge me. Oh man, that's, it's a long story. Don't, but a tire like this is actually smaller in size than this one, uh, which is the exact same tire, exact same size, but this one is less used, therefore it has more tread, therefore the diameter is greater, therefore it is larger, therefore it is spinning faster than the front one. Now it doesn't matter because this Jeep doesn't have a front drive shaft in right now, but also doesn't have symmetrical all wheel drive. That's not a problem. It is on the Subaru. Where does this come into play? So no big deal. You get four tires. Whenever you need tires on a Subaru, you get four. Subi guys will be talking about that all the time. It's, it's what you need to do if you go someplace and try to put two tires just on the front of your Subaru. Hopefully, they're not gonna let you do it or they're gonna try to talk you out of it. Cause something, if, they're, if all the tires are locked together and now all of a sudden one wants to spin at a different speed than the others, but they're mechanically locked together, something's gotta give, and I'm here to tell you it's gonna be something expensive. Subaru figured out a way to mitigate this for when you have to put a spare on. Now the spare is inevitably gonna be a different size than the rest of your tires, and even a small difference can make a big catastrophic, uh, or have a big catastrophic effect on your all-wheel drive system. So you go to get a flat tire, boom, tire down. You go to grab the donut, it is inevitably a different size. So what do you do? How do you get home? Why even put a donut on a Subaru in a Subaru if you can't use it? So I was in my fuse box today doing something else and I stumbled on this little guy down there in the corner. See that guy? I was like, Christmas, wait a minute. I forgot Subaru does that. You know what that says? It says FWD, four, <laughs> four, front wheel drive. You go ahead and you put that fuse in and it kills the solenoid and it removes the rear wheel drive from the system. So you just have a front wheel drive Subaru. Uh, I first learned about this in my 1990, I can't remember if it was an eight or a nine, but it was a Forester S. I loved that friggin' thing. It was an animal. Uh, selling that car is probably my biggest car regret. That and the 98 XJ. Anyway, point is, it worked in that car. I actually used to do it to try to get better at gas mileage. I don't think I accomplished that. I have no idea if I did, but it, it existed in that car. I think in that one, you actually removed a fuse. In this 2009 Outback, it has it, and I wasn't even looking for it today. I just stumbled on it. I was like, holy Halliburton, I forgot they'd done that. And then over here, a 2017 Forester, and we're gonna see real quick if this bad boy still has it. And the reason I'm curious, of course, is that Subaru has um, you know, in improved their systems and things are more electronic, so I wonder if maybe they've done away with it. Um, or if they still have it, because this is a... So my 98 was an automatic, that Outback is a manual, and this, I guess, is a CVT, right? Um, I can't remember if this is a CVT or a traditional, but it's, it's gotta be a CVT, right? 2017 Foster, a Foster? Anyway, I, I digress, let's find out. Well, I can tell you right now, it looks like it has the exact same fuse box as my Outback. right down there in the corner oh interesting I don't see it I know y'all can't read it but it should have been right there the socket is still there but it's got an like a, a line over it and if you look into it it's not pinned ah oh, steering heater stop lamp steering heater glow oh that's if it, this was a diesel hey that's kind of cool all this stuff over here glow plugs and stuff if it was a diesel i guess overseas can you imagine a diesel scuba holy halliburton that'd be cordon the other side of the pillow all right i think this car might still have its 
manual. Well, let's look in the flat tire section. Uh, maybe they stopped doing it between 9 and 17. Alrighty, friends, I flipped all through this thing. Uh, went back here to the maintenance section where it gives a bunch of info on tires, but really over here is where it gives you the spare tire sequence. It gives everything from putting on the flashers to chalking it to where you find the jack. And they don't mention anything about a fuse or all wheel drive, four wheel, front wheel drive. I don't think it's a thing anymore. I assume. I don't know what I assume. I guess cars are just smart enough it's not a problem anymore. Is that what we're getting at here? Because you go over here, it gives you the uh, whole tire replacement. Gives you all the criteria that you have to match up. How to rotate. You know? Bummer. I don't know why it's a bummer. No, it is a bummer. Because Subaru, to me, was always one of those brands that did stuff like that. That was a really stupid comment. Sorry, let me let me organize my thoughts a little better here. Subaru is the kind of company you could count on to include little touches like that. I maybe all you know car fans are, are the same way and would say that about their brand. You know, like I'm I'm a huge Jeep fan, much bigger than I am a Subaru fan, but Jeep doesn't do crap like that. You know, you're not gonna find anything like that. If you want two-wheel drive, you're pulling a drive shaft, Buck. <laughs> and that's fine, but it bums me out that that's gone because I feel like since maybe 2000 honestly six if we're if we're really being honest here but definitely around 11 10 11 subaru just lost it for me and it bums me out i like this outback i love this outback i hope i can keep it forever i think this is the kind of car i will want around in 30 years to be tooling around in not just naturally aspirated nothing special i'm not gonna lift it i'm not gonna lift it I'm probably not gonna lift it. But that's a bummer if that's gone, man. Cause I, just a lot of little stuff like that has gone away with Subaru. And they're still a good company, but they're not, they were just, in the 90s, man, they were just infallible. The Subi guys that are rolling around today, the Subi fanboys that exist today are because of Subaru in the um, 90s. And early, early, early 2000s, those first gen and, and first gen refresh, the SF Foresters, man, whew, those are scary good vehicles. You want to go three? Want, let's talk about going 300,000 miles, throw some rings in it, go three, and head gaskets, and head gaskets, go another 300,000, right? Anyway, I've uh, yapped enough. If anybody knows where the breakover is from, from this car, the 09, that still has the EJ, to the Forester, which is, um, what are those? A, B, what, what? I don't even remember the motor. Uh, whatever this thing is, it's fine, but it's got a CVT, it doesn't have an EJ, and I can't put it in two wheel drive, so. I hope it's smart enough to figure out the whole spare tire thing, because if not, it's just going to... Whatever. Anyway, so leave me a comment down there in the squawk box. <laughs> I love little tips like this, and I love uh, knowing little little hacks like this. And I like knowing little stuff about, about brands like this. I think it's cool info to have. Uh, this is the kind of stuff... Uh, it just doesn't exist anymore with cars doing all the thinking for you. And I could go on a whole rant about that, but I won't, because no one's going to watch this video anyway because I'm branded a Jeep channel, so if I put anything but a Jeep on there. So look, here's a Jeep. Now we y'all watch it, please? If I put anything but a Jeep, nobody watches. Um, this is the kind of stuff that bums me out that we, that we lose, and I could do a whole rant, but I won't. So leave me a comment down in the squawk boxes. If you know what year they stopped doing this and why, I'm guessing CVT, let me know. Is it just in mine because of the five-speed? Because that Outback is a five-speed? I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.